Kamusta mga exile? Kimros here. Welcome to another my build guide. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about my fire zombie mancer. And if you notice the title, it says not a budget build guide. Be and the only reason for that is because of this um, efficient training crimson jewel. And right now, one of this jewel can cost you 90 to 95 chaos. And in this build, I'm using three of these uh, jewels. And hopefully in the future, this will become much cheaper. And if these jewels aren't, aren't that much uh, expensive, this build can easily be a budget build guide. Because all of this equipment can cost you only 40, maybe 50 chaos. So anyways, let's just get into the build guide. First, I'm gonna talk about my equipment. First is this uh, Triad Grip Mesh Gloves. And it says here, Minions convert 25% of physical damage to fire damage per red socket, um, cold damage per green socket, lightning damage per blue socket, and chaos damage per white socket. Now, as you can see, all of the sockets are red. So all of my minions are doing 100% fire damage and before i continue the build guide very quick very quickly i just want to say that i think this triad grip mesh gloves may have just killed uh physical damage minion builds because with these gloves and this elemental equilibrium in your build you can easily have a uh, better damage so anyways let's just get back to the build guide uh, another unique item that I'm using is this Umbilicus Immortalist Leather Belt. And it says here, Flask do not, ap do not apply to you. And Flask apply to your race zombies. And another unique item is this Alberon's Warpath. And the only reason I'm using this is because of the 18% increased strength. And another unique item is this Erendil's Embrace. And I'm using two of these scepters. And this is really good for this build because in this build you're gonna need lots of strength, dexterity for the gem requirements, and some intelligence as well. And lastly, this uh, Baron Close Helmet. And this helmet will give you plus two to level of socketed minion gems. And this is where I put my race zombie. And it also says here. It's gonna give you plus one to maximum number of race zombie per 300 strength. And lastly, with a thousand strength, 2% of damage dealt by your race zombies is leached to you as life. And you're going to want this uh, life leech because you're using this Umbilicus Immortalist. That means you, you won't be able to use life flasks. And for the rare items, first is this amulet. Uh, you're gonna uh, look for an amulet with high strength and also I anointed this amulet with utmost might uh, which will give you uh, plus 40 to strength and 8% increased strength and for the rings same thing look for a high strength and life and resist and also I crafted this uh, minion movement speed and for the armor, same thing, high strength and life and res uh, resist. And for the flask, I'm using lion's roar for increased armor and more melee physical damage. Uh, at serious promise for extra chaos damage and life leech. And sulfur flask of adrenaline for increased damage and increased movement speed. Silver flask of iron skin for the onslaught buff and increased armor and lastly this quicksilver flask of acceleration for increased movement speed and increased attack speed and for the gem setups i'm using race zombies with minion damage death mark and fortify and on my armor i have level one precision skitter bots uh, ball haste Summon Carrion Golem and Generosity. And on my gloves, I have War Banner, Pride with Generosity, 
and on my scepter i have flesh offering desecrate and spell cascade and on my other uh, scepter i have flame dash invocation and level one clarity and on my boots i have storm brand curse on hit flammability and punishment for the pantheon i'm using soul of the brine king for the two second stun immunity and soul of groot call for the physical damage reduction for the ascendancy i'm using necromancer and i'm using this commander of darkness for that uh three three percent increased attack speed per octave aura uh, and 30 percent increased damage and 20 percent uh, elemental resistance and also i'm using this mindless aggression for minion movement speed damage and attack speed and also this unnatural strength for plus two to level of all minion skill gems and lastly this bone barrier which will give me 1% physical damage and 3% to all elemental resistance per minion and also this will give 20% more maximum life to, to your minions. For the skill tree, uh, get those nodes that will give you 1 to maximum number of race zombies. Also I'm using this Whisper of Doom for an additional curse and also get this um, node that will give you reduced mana reservation so you can fit all the five auras and also of course those uh, minion nodes minion damage and minion life and elemental resistance so your zombies can be tankier uh, more minion nodes here minion damage and minion life and again this is where i put my Efficient training crimson jewel. I have three of them and for the rare jewels They are just additional at Attributes and here in path of building as you can see uh, my zombies are doing 560,000 DPS But it should be much higher than this because unfortunately here in path of building it doesn't calculate the minion physical damage conversion to elemental uh, elemental damage and as you can see here in path of building my zombies are doing physical damage so if my zombies are doing fire damage it should calculate this um, elemental equilibrium which will give negative 50 percent to elemental resistance to the enemies and also this uh, flammability which will curse the enemies and will have negative 44% fire resistance so this DPS should be much higher than this probably 800 maybe 900 K DPS I'm not sure but I'm sure that it should be much much higher than this so yeah that's all I can say about this uh, fire zombie mancer thank you for watching if you like it Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Magkita na lang tayo sa susunod na video.